Tri-State Sports Leader. This is WGEM Sports. Volleyball action continues to ramp up across the Tri-States. Let's get right into the highlights. It was Beardstown making the trip over to Payson as the Indians look to get the win in their home opener tonight. Right from the get-go, Tegan Moss gets things going with the perfect serve as it strikes the back line for the ace. Beardstown would answer the bell. Nice passing allows them to set up their outside hitter who buries this one right into the block for the kill. The Indians were persistent at pulling away though. Madeline O'Dear makes her presence felt as she smacks this one on the other side of the floor for the point. Payson will get the win in this one. They take down the Tigers in two sets, 25-22, 25-22. The Eagles were looking to earn the first win of the season while the Trojans made their debut. Liberty coming out with momentum to get things started as they get hitter Maddie Gibbs set up well for the attack right down the pipe. But Gibbs wasn't done yet. The team's up with middle Faith Clouser. They get their hands up for the block point against the Eagles. A nice dig by Bella Nord to keep things alive. And here comes Gibbs once again with the kill. And it's just too much to handle for the Triopia defense. But the Trojans kept it close. They're going to set up hitter Ava Petterfish as she finds space to sneak that one in for the kill. The Eagles ended up taking the win in three sets, 28-18, 24-26, and 25-21. In other volleyball action across Illinois, Camp Point gets the victory over Russell, McComb sweeps Jacksonville, and Illini West gets the win tonight over Brown County. Quincy University kicked off their college football season tonight. To Drake Stadium, the Dogs getting things started against Division II Quincy University. Scoreless in the first quarter, Luke Bailey looking down the sidelines for Drake. Hunter Johnson will be on the other end of this pass, a 38-yard gain, and the Dogs were in business against the Hawks. The drive would end with Shane Dunning field goal opening up the second quarter. Drake up 3-0. That would stay that way for the remainder of this one. Drake was up 10-0 at halftime, but right next door to Mediacom Stadium, this one also caught a delay. We have more sports coverage on the way. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this.